Hey, Henry was about to pull, pull the flying character, but he he had to pull it earlier, earlier today since he since he couldn't pull it last night. He wasn't feeling well, but he was feeling well today. He thought everything was gonna go right today until until he heard, heard a blast in the sky. Mm, then then a siren went off after it. Then then the guard then the guard whistle blew. So that me, so that means it was time for Harry for Harry to leave. So so Har so so Harry so Harry left left, left the shags. Mm. He's trying to go as fast as he could. Mm, what? What? What the vet? What? What the car were ring, were ringing were ringing down. Mm. And then he saw some um, Emily. Emily, you gotta get out of here. You're, you you got power points to blast it. But then Emily, Emily went backwards, and he told and Henry told Emily that he, that he, that she's going the wrong way. But 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 Emily couldn't hear him because he won't contact it, because Emily was already gone. And a blast almost hit him. And it almost hit the bridge, too. And then half of the bridge was blown, was blown up, but Henry was safe. And he was going faster than he ever could. He felt like he was overheating. But, 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 but it was just from the radiation. And, and, and I was it was the heat from the blast. And then he saw Birdie. And then Harry told told Bertie, Bertie, you need to get out of here. Then you could probably have blasted, but Bertie didn't know about it since he was so far away. So then Bertie left immediately. But he had to go off the road. The road. He had to go off the road. And then the siren went off. Mm. Henry ha had to find himself a shelter to stay safe. Henry, Henry took a took a few seconds to the movie. So so he so he made it to to, to where the flying flying camper was needed, so we stopped at the at that station. So, and, so, and and it told him to leave it, so Henry did. Well, but but he didn't know that that he did that he derailed some of it when he was trying to escape. One of the one of the one of the, one of the boy hit 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 it from the block. But, 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 
but Henry no, no, saw saw even passing passing by, and, and he saw and he saw a green tank engine that looked like Percy but wasn't Percy. That that even was hardly retained, but he crashed straight into some into some tankers, and then it was, it was a loud explosion. <laughs> The green tank engine was tank engine and, and even were, blo were blown up. The coaches he he was following were safe. He was following Henry. He was, he was following Henry, Henrietta, Henrietta, and Ellis. Along with along with the two other coaches. Also, this is Duck's story. So, this is how Duck escaped. So, one day, Duck was at, at, a, at a station. Hey, what's going on? He, he was at hard work with Arthur. And, he, and then he heard a loud explosion. <laughs> so, so, so the guard, so the guard blew the whistle. So that was that. So so that meant it was time. It was time for for Doc to leave. So then Doc left the stage again. But he wait. Well, he didn't know what happened after. But what? But what actually happened to after is after ran to the ocean. But then, and then it didn't happen. The dog's piston log broke. And, 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 and then he started going, going kind of slow. And also, he saw James pass by at him. James didn't say anything or blow his boots off. So so Doug, so Doug went, went 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 back, went back for his for a second to see it. We we're gonna go back go back for a second. He want he wanted to go back to see see what happened to Arthur. But but he didn't want to. So 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 he went ahead. <laughs> 